Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And of course, you know we're going to be talking. We're going to be celebrating. And we're going to be talking about people that really take marriage serious. As well as family serious. So we're going to celebrate. Yes, we're going to toast it up for none other than a housewife. Okay? And then we're going to be talking about a housewife. That's not doing the darn thing. But well done. Well done to one of our housewives by the name of Candy Burris. Because I'm off out there just showing and proving. Showing and proving. And hopefully Portia Williams can learn from her. Since it seems like Portia don't listen to her mama. If her mama is saying anything that's worth anything against Simon. And how she's looking out on these streets. But Candy was raised from good stock. Good foundation. And it was built on family and trust and doing the best you can and making that money. Okay. If we keep it in that order for Mama Joyce. Okay. But Portia just refused to listen to us and we just have to keep exposing her. Lauren will probably be doing it later on when Portia runs into some uh, court documents that's going to show she ain't going to be having sole custody of her child. Bet you believe it. It's going to be split 50-50. So, Portia, yes. We need to teach you something today, girl. We need to teach you something about family. See there? Candy and Todd did the darn thing. They took Ace out for spring break to Orlando, Florida. Universal Studios. That's the best place to be. United, what do you call it? Um, United Kingdom. Magic Kingdom or whatever that's called. That's what the little people like. Uh, baby girl blaze you know she might get a little kick out of that in the teacups and all that but you know ace is growing up <coughs> he's smarter than the average uh person his age okay he's moving and shaking <coughs> his mom is putting him in um what do you call it little films for kids so he can be a little nickelodeon kid running around here what is the kid i don't know but I'm like, tread lightly, tread lightly on that, Candy Burris. Because you're coming up a lot faster than we thought you would. But, you know, I think you don't solidify yourself in that little illuminated club. And we're just going to leave it at that. But, that young lady over to the right, I think that's Sanya Richards Ross. Who's going to be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta 14 coming May 1st. So, she already got my vote. Because when I seen that trail, I saw, oh, I'm sick and sick now. Oh, shucky ducky. <laughs> oh, shucky ducky. Sh uh, shit's finna get real, okay? And that doggone Sanya can speak two languages too. So, I'm like, whoo-wee. It's going to be something entertaining. And I'm, I'm here for it. Cause Bravo has definitely been slacking lately for the last five or six years. But it just is what it is. But we're looking at good stock people. Okay. That form together. Um, we don't, we don't say too much bad about Todd. Because Todd is a definitely good father when it comes to Ace and Blaze. I just love him to be with uh, Ace. Because he's teaching him. Showing him what men do. And this, that, and the third. And, um, yeah. Because I'm kind of disappointed with Todd when he took his daughter to a strip club. But that's neither here nor there at this time. But, uh, from what I've seen with him interacting. The comings and goings with him and Ace. That, that it's good stock. Good stock people there. But see, this is what we show you, Portia, when you're taking time out for your family and, and you're trying to keep a normal life within them so they have good childhood memories. See, Ace going to remember this shit. Yeah, I'm saying your children are going to be remembering it too and they're going to be like, let's go back, let's go back. This is like going to Six Flags, you know what I'm saying? Even though Universal Studios or um, Disney uh, World is a lot more bigger than um, the Atlanta um Six Flags and stuff of that nature. Still same shit. You're walking on concrete, asphalt. Everybody getting hot and tired. Being bothered with the damn lines. But since they're celebrities, I think they got like a pass that they can get in uh, different places. Well, I think you can pay for those passes. And you get to go ahead of most people that's out there in the theme park. But it is, it is what it is. Because if, if I had to go to that again, I'm going to need me a scooter. <laughs> I'm going to have to borrow Kim's old at Red Scooter that uh, Nene Leeds was talking about. Where's your scooter at, girl? Where is your scooter? But it's going to be decked out. 
Oh, because that, that, that asphalt, it's, ooh, that's something else. That's something else. It's hard on the knees, hard on my back. And I shit it. That's just leave me at an eating joint while y'all go around and tour. That's what I be telling my people. But that's neither here nor there. I got off tangent. I uh, went on my own little thing. But we're talking about Candy Burr's Tucker as well as Todd Tucker and them taking the kids, meaning Blaze and Ace out for a fun field day or week at Orlando Studios or or Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. Okay. You could tell they're having a good time. They're having a a uh, very magical time and it's all good now when it comes to baby uh blaze she seemed like where is the food at i ain't here i ain't here for all this stuff but you'll see her little cute little picture when uh we go on into the video but yeah for some reason they had a billboard that caught candy eye it was um you know displaying candy's show that her and todd had put together so the bravo and you know it's doing fair numbers uh I can't say it's blowing it's Porsche's um, Family Matters out the water because really what got her ratings was it, it had so much fighting in it. It had so much bickering in it. And little do you know, I understand why people do gravitate to that as far as entertainment versus looking at wholesome stuff or, or, or real to truth facts of a particular show like Candace Holston on k and the Game that, you know, that happens in real life. But I guess it ain't got none of that. Uh, argumental stuff, all of that, you know, bad seed stuff in it, you know, that really hard drama that people want to uh, be attached to sometimes here and there. But this is what happiness looks like when you're that age, such as Ace and uh, Baby Blaze. That's what uh, a family trip, a family outing is all about. But like I said, since you refuse to listen to people, let's just give you visuals. Because everything in Atlanta is not always, what do you call it, the nightlife, the night scene, the party life. No, we have very good events you can go to. The Georgia Aquarium is a good one. The Escarant, what do you call it, the horses, um, um, what do you call it, es es what do you call it, es 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 what is it, E-S-Q, Esquarian. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the little horse show and shit. Go to, we got one of those here in Atlanta. We got a lot of little things. Uh, down here at the Museum of Arts. My daughter just went there like maybe two weeks ago with one of her good friends. And she's sitting up here. That's Portia hanging out a Nigerian flag or Jamaican flag. Y'all help me because I, 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 I'm not good on history these days. But I think that's a Jamaican flag or a Nigerian flag. Y'all let me know. Either way, she's up there letting that money make her and she ain't making the money. You see what I'm saying? She's chasing the money instead of letting the money chase her. And Porsche ain't learned that yet. I don't know if she'll ever learn it because she's damn near 40 years old, going on 41, and she's just missing the boat on life because she thinks everything has to be socialite. Everything has to be uh, put out there for show. And Candy and Todd did wonderfully. They showed us what they wanted us to see. They ain't showed us the uh, play by play, blow blah blow, or whatever they did. You know what I'm saying? They didn't show the people that they were hanging around too much because I'm sure. There were some other people there, other than uh, Samuel Richards Ross and her family, uh, and it could have just been them and no no nannies, no nothing. They were just doing their own thing with their own kids, you know what I'm saying, being true parents and not having that assistance because our parents didn't have that assistance, but our parents weren't in that type of line life either. But I was just trying to figure out where Portia feels she has to be on yachts and boats and, you know, putting little PJ in that setting when let's let the baby crawl let the baby walk let the baby get entertained on what she likes don't throw it down her throat that she has to sit there and play house with a man don't get married just have you know everything free for him to partake even her body and her smarts and even her bank account okay and uh just make sure you're just in the limelight you're being shown uh because i'll see you making any magazines lately okay portia with all this foolishness foolishness you got going on and simon's supposed to be here and there in the billionaire club uh why he's not on five uh fortune Forbes 500 million dollar uh magazine forbes you know what i'm saying the magazine that tells you who's who 
of this land, okay, and how much they make averagely. You see what I'm saying? But I just had to bring out this video because even Cannon made me look like I wanted to be there again, even though I've taken my daughter there when she was young several times. Never went to Disney land because i think that's in california but we did participate in the disney world thing and it's just like six flags here you don't see one you don't see them all ain't too much you can do once they get out of that kitty stage like up to 12 years old then it just be like shit you don't been there several times take it down self you know i ain't going back out there that's hot weather <laughs> It's really whenever you go, I guess. But we went in the summertime like stupid people. And, you know, we ain't, we melanated, but we ain't like that sun at all. And the time we went, or the couple of times we went, it, it ended up raining. And, you know, I just can't stand all that rain mixed with sweat and heat. It's just, ooh, just a sticky situation if you get what I mean. All right, but Candy and Todd, they did that. Let me take a sip of water. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm back. <coughs> Have y'all noticed when y'all get in y'all fit, this <coughs> liquid just don't go down like it's supposed to. It like it gets stuck in your lungs. <coughs> or it just go everywhere else and settle down your throat. Now, I've noticed that. I noticed that as I've gotten into my 50s. I'm like, God, dog, I just took a swig of water. I'm just coughing up shit. What, what's going on with that? But I guess y'all won't have those problems until y'all get that age group. Okay, but I'm like, hey, getting old ain't fun. <laughs> and and your, your body be talking to you instead of you talking to your body. All them cricks and crows and all that be going on when you're popping, when you get up, when you sit down, when you lay down. I'm like, damn. Okay, I got off on a tangent again. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I was feeling myself. Okay, I was feeling myself. Had to let y'all know what y'all auntie, y'all cousin, y'all grandmama, y'all mom, you, however y'all look at me, your cousin. I had to let y'all know what I was going through at the time. But uh, I just want to say congratulations uh, to uh, Todd and Candy. They are doing the thing as far as trying to raise their kids as best as normal as they possibly can. Even though they know their kids are not normal. Meaning, like baby Ace, he may be a millionaire when he get to be 17. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to have that outlet where he has to work for anybody. He's going to be working for himself. So I'm like. You know, when you have parents that lay that foundation where you're born into a certain income, I ain't going to say rich and all like that because it just depends on how you pose yourself what is rich to you. You know what I'm saying? Rich for me could be just making a hundred grand a year and I'm satisfied. I'm cool. For the next person, they need to be making more than that, twice more than that, before they feel like they're cool. But like I said, everybody has an expiration date. Whatever you try to plan for and look for, it all is a mute point. Because when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. So you could just be saving up for somebody else to use. That's just, you know, my viewpoint. My look out on life. That's why I said live your life as you can. Don't try to plan everything. Just live spontaneous sometimes. If you got the uh, time, you got the money, just get up and go. Because I'm pretty sure Canada just checked out her itinerary. Because we know Todd ain't got nothing to uh, say uh, where he need to be at. Because wherever Canada's is at, that's where he need to be at. Okay? <laughs> I'm sure <clears throat> Candy had to uh, tell Don Juan what is on the schedule because I feel kind of spontaneous. I feel like I want to take my family somewhere so they can say they've been somewhere when they go back to school. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all will be looking at those aesthetics. You don't want your child to be sitting up there listening to some other children saying what they did for um, the spring break holiday and all that kind of thing. And then your parents out there working, making it do what it do. And you ain't going to really understand it until you get in high school and probably graduating from high school and going into college where you know what it is to be uh, kind of like you know what adults supposed to be and the responsibilities they're supposed to have by themselves and also with their children. You know, so it's, it's not a burden, but it's just a, a lot of responsibility. And if you're not uh, geared to having money and not having money, then you wouldn't understand uh, the different complexities it is for life and going through life accordingly. But like I said, you got to set your own standards. You can't go by what the world set for you. You got to go by what yours, uh, what you feel your life should look like and be like. Because everybody's success may not look the same and it definitely probably won't be the same okay 
but uh I, I was just you know thought i would just give that out to you all and if anybody can tell portia that she could always come over here and look at this video and see what it really looks like to spend time dedicate time to family and it's not about riding in luxury cars it's not about going to exotic cities or countries and saying you, you did this for your child because your child may not even be like that you might be rich famous this that and third and your child may want to be doing philanthropy type of work they, they don't want uh to drive in a mercedes or a lamborghini they might want to be uh rolling around in a toyota you know what i'm saying they may not have the same likes that you like and you got to respect that because they'll be grown and they'll be like thank you for you know providing such a wonderful foundation and I, I had the best childhood but i don't want that life and so you can't get mad at them you can't get mad because they don't want to take over your business and stuff because it's their life you provided that life for them and yourself so whatever you know the kids may turn out to do if you set out the money aside for them just give it to them and let them live their life they got to do their own thing just like candy is kind of sort of pushing ace into the acting field and that may be something he want now but it may not be something he want later on depending on how he starts to view life and knows what life is all about but the only thing uh i can say is well done to these two uh, uh folks right here because there are training their children that you know sometimes you do have to give back to the community it's not all about you and what you can achieve and that's a good thing i'm glad candy has our candy cares foundation i don't know what todd is doing up there but like i said todd lives through candy's bank account as well as her pocketbook so he's a paid and bought man so we're just gonna leave it at that because he has smarts to him he just don't like finishing shit you know what i'm saying he don't like experiencing shit especially if it's labor work hard labor work hands on he don't like that so we still working with him i'm sure candy's still working with him on that but she's still gonna take care of her own oh and that may just be her plight or her vision the lord had for her to help people give people you know and then you'll get back but give that should be your first thing and we should be looking in that aspect of serving others not necessarily always serving ourselves serve others it ain't got to just be at your family it could be people outside of your family people that you know are struggling whatever just go and get them that little extra coin or, or dollars they need and see the appreciation and the smile come on their face that's rewarding that's intangible stuff that you could only feel through feelings that the lord had us uh be made up with but th this helpful right here she just i don't know i don't know i don't know where life went wrong with her she just thinks her body her looks is going to carry her through and it will get her through some doors but then it may have her behind on that casting couch as well you know doing a lot of things for some small change but you know until she figures that out herself we could keep knocking on uh, portia's head you know keep trying to pounce on her heart and she still can come up empty because right now she just looks like an empty vessel running around him thinking oh she got to be with the right people she got to look the right way in order for her to succeed or better yet she got to be spending somebody else's money instead of her spending her own having her own getting her own but this is what she has to be have been taught i really strongly believe that if her mother did that disservice to her then shame on mama diane shame on mama diane because we need to teach our children give them resources okay not always money but give them the tools to have them think about what they need to do and how to get from point a to point b to point c okay and we know people fall off sometimes they need that extra little revenue pool then you throw it at them and see what they do with it but teach them the tools in case you're not here one day you're not on this plane of existence so they can go get theirs and not depend on other people to bail them out and see this whole thing with portia talking about i want to get married i want to be married uh -uh. i'm mr simon goodbody i just didn't girl you've been married before sit your ass down somewhere it ain't like you've never been married before. can you think about the people that want to get married that have never been married before here you will trying to solidify a man that's going to treat you just like cordell did because you ain't learned nothing you have not learned anything from any of your male friends boyfriends husband you say you learned stuff, but you haven't learned stuff because you're not showing and proving. 
you're just showing the same behavior that you said you had to go through in your por- pursuit of Portia's book, magazine, catalog, however y'all want to see it. Okay, but you hadn't learned anything. Only thing you have said and shown is that you got to be stay pretty. You got to stay uh, optically right. Okay, you have to have the right look, and you got to surround yourself around the right people. But what about street smarts? What about uh, book smarts? What about elevating yourself to that other level of thinking, Portia? Because you're all on this materialistic shit, this tangible shit that can be here today, gone tomorrow, okay? But it just is what it is. I just want to celebrate Candy and her generation of how she has formed on putting the i'm guessing now the lord first and then her family second and she's been showing and proving she go out there when she's traveling it's for business if it's not for business she got her family with her it's for pleasure and she has definitely had some time where it has been her and todd out there doing it on thing but it's been very kosher it's been very tasteful shown to us and it's not everything, you know what I'm saying? They may have showed us that they were on a boat sailing on the, the ocean or whatever and, and playing with each other, you know what I'm saying? But we may didn't catch the other part where they got out and went to a fabulous dinner that night or they partied at a club. See, they're very tasteful people. They don't put shit out there for people to, to see them in a negative light because they got brands. They got uh, business opportunities and people don't want to see all that partying all that drinking all that liquor smoking all, they don't want to see that not on bigger people on bigger uh financial standpoints and fronts they don't want to see that shit but this is what Portia has been giving us day in and day out she shows us how she can spend money she shows us how she can party and she can show us how she stays away from her family meaning baby girl pj okay and that's a bad look all the way around that's a bad look but karma is a motherfucker that's all i say karma is a motherfucker but that's all i had for this video guys y'all like it love you gotta have more you know i'll be here pumping them out okay i will be pumping them out for you all to relate to a view at your leisure okay so if you're watching this video in the morning noon or night know i love you and know i've always been thinking of y'all and i'm, I'm thankful that y'all have definitely been uh getting down on those comments and being respectful uh to one another because that's what it's all about they don't sense to put no uh, rude shit down there uh coming for me or coming for the family members over here because it, it's gonna get blocked when i see it it's gonna be off the charts <laughs> it's gonna be like it never was there uh it's like poof be gone Ta -da! so uh and i want to thank trini t uh she was telling me the pronunciation of um uh, the correct way of saying, uh, I've been calling him Davido, Davido, it's Davido, Davido, no, I'm sorry, Davido, Davido, so thank you for that uh, pronunciation lesson, and uh, when we're talking about Davido, we would definitely be saying his name correct, and I'm hopeful I'm saying it correct now, uh, get down in the comments, say, yeah, you're saying it correct now, uh, however y'all see me, as y'all aunt, mama, grandmama, cousin, niece, I, you know, whatever, uh, we fam. We fam, okay? We get over here, we talk shit, and then we move on to the next uh, conversation. That's what we do. We don't idolize or sit there and pinpoint and, be, you know, we don't do that. We just want to have a conversation about a particular topic. We say what we got to say because everybody going to have different perspectives and outlooks on the topic subject. We just ought to be gracious enough and mercifully enough to understand where they were coming from. Okay? Because none of us right. None of us are wrong. We just making our own opinions. All right? But that's all I have for this video, guys. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.